Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a quick little video for you guys today. We're gonna be installing a corner bench seat in a tile shower. And we didn't install this bench seat prior to setting the tile because we had to order it. And it was on back order. So it's a part of a system that we use for the shower. It's a hydro block system. And it's a 17 by 17 corner bench. It's got a really simple installation guide that comes with it. Basically what you're gonna do is glue and screw this bench seat to the wall. And I accounted for the size of this bench seat when I was setting the tile, so it should fit nicely in this little space. Um, you wanna also make sure you've got something to screw to, so if you're missing any blocking where these little supports are going you want to make sure you put some blocking in prior to installing your hydro block on the walls but the glue that you use for this stuff is super strong and it's waterproof and it sets up pretty suit pretty quick so if you wanted to set the tile on this bench seat you could probably start setting it within like 30 minutes of putting the seat in Really nice system. Makes things really easy. All the materials that Hydroblock uses is water resistant. I think they have closed cell styrofoam and then like a little layer of mortar on the top of it with some mesh waterproof mortar so you want to make sure that you have a slight slope to your bench seat so i'm just checking the levelness of this making sure it's got a little bit of drop to it so any water that does sit on the bench seat or gets on the bench seat is going to drain off we don't want it draining back towards the wall they come with these handy washers so you put the washer where you know you have a stud Push it in. <sighs> and then they come with stainless steel screws that you're gonna screw in. But first we're gonna double check that we didn't move it at all. It still looks good. So you want to kind of make sure you keep screwing it in until the washer is sort of recessed into the foam, but you don't want to break the face of it either. So you can see I put some masking tape also on the tile because we're going to waterproof all, all the way around this little shower bench seat once it's in. We don't want to get any of that stuff on the tile because it's pretty heavy duty stuff. So we're going to dry fit the shelf. Fits, fits good. And now we're just going to apply the caulking all the way around on all the surfaces that the corner shelf is going to touch. This is a floating shelf. Hydroblock makes different types of shelves for corners. They make some that have walls that go all the way down to the floor, and then they make some that are kind of pyramid shaped that go down towards the floor at a diagonal. And this one's just a floating 90 degree shelf, corner shelf. They make them in different sizes too. This is a smaller one because we have a pretty tight shower. And I think the height that we put this at was just the recommended height that they recommend, which I think is anywhere from 16 to 18 inches. It makes for a good little seat, and also you can put your leg up on it if you need to shave your legs.
once you've got it situated, I'm gonna double check your level line again. Got a lot of drop. Don't want too much, but you want some. Shouldn't say a lot, you get a little bit of drop. Now we're just gonna seal all the way around this thing. Once again, one of the great things about this system is you can start tiling in a matter of 30 or 40 minutes right after you install stuff like this. And it's all waterproof. You can also apply liquid applied membranes to this system, but you don't have to. I'll usually do that for shower pans. For something like this, this will be fine. So once we've got all our caulking kind of spread out, we'll remove the tape and then touch it up as needed. If we have any little gaps. Or sometimes the tape will remove some of the caulking with it. So don't put your caulking gun away until you remove the tape. So now we'll remove the tape. And like I said, sometimes there's little touch-ups you gotta do. What you're trying to do is seal that gap, but also you don't wanna put too much to where the tile that you're gonna put on the seat is not gonna cover. Because once that glue is adhered and dry, it's hard to get off. So you wanna be real careful not to get any on anything you don't want. That glue one. All right, so that wraps up the video. This bench is ready for tile. I'll have a link in the description on where to get this product. Thanks for watching.